Yo, what's going on guys? Jordan from Conklin Official. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing center forward Robert Lewandowski. And I'm just going to be analyzing what I think are the most important clips from this game to give you guys just a little bit more insight onto how he plays and also give you guys an example of how you should be analyzing your football matches. So let's get straight into the analysis. So to start off, this is like the first minute or two of the game. And usually teams like to play direct at the beginning of a match. And this is where center forwards come into play and why it's so crucial for them to be at least decent in the air to at least challenge for the ball so that you can get your team on the front foot. Like here, Lewandowski, the ball bounces and he's at least challenging for it, making it hard for the center backs. So you should be good in the air if you want to help your team out in the first couple minutes of the match. When defending as a center forward, you want to make play as predictable as possible. The Lewandowski is cutting off the center back, which forces them to make that extra pass into the holding mid. And even here, Lewandowski is not running straight at the ball, but he's angling his run so that he's kind of cutting off that center back. This cuts off an option for the other team, which makes it easier for you and your team to press. Something Lewandowski is really good at is using his body to protect the ball. So he notices the center back is stepping up. So instead of taking the ball under control with his right foot, he flicks it on with his left foot and this creates a dangerous chance for his team and it wins a free kick in the end and this all came from him just being smart and using his body properly. This is good interchanging play from Lewandowski so he's coming out wide his body positioning is forward and so now he can carry the ball forward and his left back can make an overlapping run and now here he can lay it off and then he moves back into the middle so he can run into the box. So it's important as a center forward to not just stay in the center of the field. It's good to come out wide and check in so your teammates can make runs and can create opportunities for yourself. This is the importance of timing as a center forward. So as Robin's cutting in on his left foot, it looks like he's about to cross. So at that exact moment, Lewandowski peels off his defender in case the cross comes in. And though the cross didn't come in, Lewandowski at least was prepared for it in case it did come so that he could be in a good position for if the cross came in from Robin. Now this is Byron's penalty kick and um, it really wasn't like, from that replay it really does just come off his shoulder but there was no VAR at this time so they kind of just went on with it. But Lewandowski steps up to take it and you guys already know his his, his, his penalty technique is just, it's class, and I, I, I really don't need to analyze it. I think you guys, I think most of you guys know that his little stutter right there, uh, it just kind of off puts the keeper, and if you just run straight out to the ball, it's easier to read probably, but his little stutter just gives him that time to read the keeper in the situation and place the ball where he wants it. Similar to Jorginho's penalties, and that just shows the immense amount of confidence that these players have. They trust their ability, and they're able to execute that on the pitch. Now this play is off a throw in and watch Lewandowski's movement here. After he checked in and didn't get the ball, he's moving behind the defenders around them and then he checks in so that he's on their blind side. And then what he does here, he's bringing in four players around him. This creates space for Thiago and even though he does lose the ball, this is what Lewandowski does. He knows he's the danger man and so him bringing the ball under control attracts players around him and creates space for his teammates. Now this is definitely a clip where the play was good but the execution was just a little bit off. So as Robin's cutting inside, you'll notice that Lewandowski is not just running straight but he's running diagonally across the defense and then after Robin plays it, Lewandowski brings it under his control brilliantly with his right foot and then the finish was just a little bit off. I'm sure he was disappointed in that shot. With the shot, I feel like he could have lifted it over the keeper's foot a little bit instead of driving it across the floor. I felt like that would have made it easier for him. But he's human, he makes mistakes just like any other great player. Now here again, recognize Lewandowski's pressing. He's not just running straight at the ball, but he's kind of angling his run here so that he's cutting off the center back. And this forces them to play the long ball. And it's just a small detail like this, guys, that will help your team in the long run. Now here's a great example of a blind run. So initially Lewandowski is in front of the defender, but then he peels off onto his blind side. And then as it looks like the ball's about to be played in, he then runs in front of the defender in hopes of getting the ball. And the defender has to keep track of where the ball is, but also Lewandowski because he's behind him. And this makes it extremely hard to mark him as a center forward. Now I love this clip because it shows just how instinctual Lewandowski is. So even though this goal was disallowed. Look how he wastes absolutely no time when he gets the ball. He brings the ball under control 
and he doesn't have to adjust his first touch or position the ball better. It's just one touch, bang. That's how instinctual he is. And it was a tight angle too with little amount of time. And that's the kind of instinctual mentality you need as a center forward if you want to score goals in that kind of position. Now, this is Lewandowski's first goal of the game. So they're going to go through a free kick routine right here. He's going to chop it back and then Robin's going to take a shot. And then look at Lewandowski right here. It, the ball hasn't even hit the crossbar yet. And everyone's flat footed. No one's expecting the ball to rebound. But Lewandowski's already reacted. And then by the time the balls hit the crossbar, Lewandowski's already in a good position to head the ball in for a tap in. So even though it looks like a super basic tap in, this all came from Lewandowski being prepared more prepared than anyone else to get the rebound and he got a well-deserved goal in the end. Now this play leads to Bayern's late equalizer. So you can see Lewandowski checking in here and then even though his first touch wasn't that good and he kind of gives up on going forward but he uses that to his advantage. He knows the defender is probably going to panic and tackle him so he uses his body to protect the ball and he ends up winning his team a free kick and then Alaba, uh, that is that is world class. And it, it, it stemmed from Lewandowski being smart and using his body. So, you know, doing things like that for your team, winning a free kick in the latter stages of the game, so crucial as a center forward. And it's smart play from Lewandowski and they got a, another well-deserved goal for that. And then of course I had to include this goal by Robin. I'm sure you guys have all probably seen it. Um, this is just, this is class from Robin. I can't even analyze Lewandowski in this situation. Actually, Lewandowski does do a little bit here. He, he he makes that run to the far post in the final minutes of the game. Props to him for doing that. And then staying back post so the defender stays, letting Robin do his thing. But this is just, this is a heartbreak, honestly, for Leipzig. I thought Bayern had a really scrappy game here, to be honest. Um, I felt like Leipzig deserved a little bit more, but... This is what winning teams do. They always find a way through and the attackers for Bayern did just that. So props to them for getting this win. And that's it for the analysis, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave suggestions down below of future players you'd like me to analyze in the future. And also please leave suggestions and opinions of future analyses for me. Like if you want more time limit, if I could do something different, if you didn't like a certain thing, if I could fix some things, um, I'm always open to your guys' constructive criticism, and I appreciate the support, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in a future video. Peace.